guys workout we're going to go through is a complex, which means you're going to do the exercises back to back to back in a circuit fashion, but when you hit the end, you're just going to stop and rest, okay? You're going to do as many reps as you can do in good form of each of the exercises and then move on to the next one without putting the weights down. So grab yourself a pair of light to medium weight dumbbells and that's what we're going to use. So I'm going to start off with a dumbbell shoulder press. All right, doesn't matter which way the weights face, whatever's comfortable for you. When you run out of steam, go on to a push press. Use your legs to help get those last few reps out. From there, we go into a squat. Keep the weights in that same spot. Drop yourself down, keep your chest up tall. From there, we go into a bent over row. So, this is gonna be harder with the elbows out. 45 degrees a bit easier. Neutral, easier still. From there, we go on to an RDL, a Romanian deadlift. So you hinge from the hip, squeeze through your glutes and hamstrings, stand up nice and tall at the top. Then we go on to a high pull. Elbows high, weights coming up to your chest. From there, reverse lunge. So start, step back, step back. Weight stays over the front foot. You stay tall the whole way through. From there, the weights go down, we go into a push up. After you've run into the steam with push ups, you go to mountain climbers. You can do them slow for active core control, or you want to rev your metabolism up, get more of a cardio benefit, you can do them faster. Alright? At the end of that, stop and rest up to two minutes and go again. You want to do as much work as you can do in 20 minutes and that's it. Once your 20 minutes is up, you stop. Don't finish the entire set. If you haven't got all of the exercises done, just leave it. doesn't matter. You want to come back to the next workout and try and beat that. Now, that's not always going to happen and you won't be setting records at every workout. It's just not going to work like that. So... Oh, I'm out of breath. I've just done this twice. Uh, don't worry about trying to set records all the time. You want to make sure that you're conserving energy. So on a day that you're highly stressed, really busy, and you don't have much energy to work out, go light. Go at 50%. Whatever it takes, just go through it, but don't push so hard. You don't want to be burnt out. We want to go uh, maximum results in minimum amount of time, minimum amount of effort. All right? If you train at 100% where you've only got a little, little bit in the tank, then you're going to end up burnt out. You're not going to be able to work properly the next day. You're not going to sleep well. You probably won't eat well. So you're better off working out at 50%. You'll maintain your strength and your muscle and your fitness, and you'll be ready for the next day. You'll have more energy the next day. You'll be able to get to work, perform at your best, uh, get to your training, still perform at your best. Uh, also good for when you are sick. So if you want to train while you're sick, it's okay as long as you train at a lower intensity. Sometimes it's just not going to work and you need to be just completely resting, but just remember that you've got to listen to what your body is telling you. If your body's saying, eh, maybe do something but do a light one, do a light one. If you're like ready to run through walls, then you're probably going to set a record that day. But see how you go and be smart about your training.